Howdy folks, Jamboreeki here. Before Peter Jackson made his Hobbit and Lord of the Rings movies, he started his career off making strange, weird, hyper-violent movies, like Bad Taste, a sci-fi film that stars Jackson himself as an alien slaying hero. as well as Brain Dead, a film that has a climax where its lead character takes down a horde of zombies with a lawnmower. And Meet the Feebles, a sick and twisted Muppets parody. Yes, before Peter Jackson went traveling through Middle Earth, he was taking the piss out of Kermit and Miss Piggy. Meet the Feebles is a black comedy that parodies Jim Henson's Muppet Show by showing the sleazy behind the scenes antics of a wacky variety show, starring a cast of puppets called the Feebles. This movie is a weird experience. The film's main joke is puppets being gross and mean-spirited, but it's played disturbingly straight and grounded. Sure, it can get juvenile at times, but as a whole, it's mainly gritty, dark, and malicious. The movie is actually more black than comedy, and I'll admit that I only laughed once while watching it. Most of the time, I was just disturbed, repulsed, and downbeat. Don't get me wrong, I have a broad sense of humour and love when a dark joke manages to make me laugh. However, Meet the Feebles struggle to get me to chuckle frequently. Its whole humour is centred on, isn't it funny that this puppet got killed, is taking drugs, same profanity, or having sex? Its humour is paper thin and the novelty shock value wears off fast. The comedy just isn't that imaginative or clever. Without any laughs, I was just left with a very bleak and gloomy movie that indulges in sadistic cruelty towards its characters. It doesn't help that the story is all over the place. The movie directs its attention towards 10 or so different characters and jumps between each character's plot at random, resulting in a lack of focus and a muddled narrative. There's not really a main character either, so I had no idea who was supposed to be our protagonist. It's like we're watching loads of different movies and Jackson can't pick which one to make. Most of the characters are also incredibly unlikable and not in a fun way like Cartman or Daffy Duck. They're just vicious and spiteful with the only irony being, oh look, they're puppets. Feebles, newbie, Robert the Hedgehog and Lucille the Chorus Dog are sweetly innocent, bringing a little light to the darkness. But they're not exactly interesting. They're just nice. And that's it. The only character I sympathised with, found entertaining and liked was Heidi the Hippo, a Miss Piggy-esque diva who is rapidly overeating due to rumours that her lover Bletch the Walrus despises her and is having an affair. There's something amusingly relatable about seeing Heidi depending on cake to soothe her sorrows, as I myself will indulge in ice cream or cake when sad. I'm sure many others do the same. She ends up being a rather tragic character, an aging star who is starting to lose her place in the spotlight and the love of her life. Heidi clearly adores singing and entertaining, but she's surrounded by spiteful co-stars and feels pressured as an aging performer. It's kind of sad. The film also includes a few songs for the Feebles to perform in their acts. Whenever a Feeble takes the stage to sing, it's quite the treat because the songs they have to offer are pretty catchy and full of energy. A lot of originality and creativity has gone into the lyrics and music, resulting in lots of memorable songs. Then you might agree that you enjoy the act of 
So what about the puppetry, the focus of this review series? Well, plenty of effort has been put into the crafting of these puppets. Sure, they're not as polished and refined as Henson's dolls, but that kind of works in the film's favour, as it's trying to subvert the innocence of the Muppets. That being said, you can tell that the puppeteers are amateurs and nowhere near as talented as Henson's performers. The puppetry in Meet the Feebles can be energetic, but it's not as controlled or cleverly acted as a Muppeteer's performance. I think this is why so many jokes fall flat. The puppetry just isn't as skillful or flexible as the product Meet the Feebles is attempting to parody. Sure, the puppets have similar physical features to Kermit, Miss Piggy and co, but their puppetry lacks Henson's crew's technique. Although, I have to say that the puppet's voice acting is superbly good. Everyone puts a lot of cartoony energy and distinct personality into their puppet's voices. Each voice is noticeably different and suits the puppet's designs. How are we feeling, Harry? Oh. I feel real bad, Doc. What have I got? I'll do some tests, but I don't hold out much hope. There's only one disease that fits these symptoms. <gasps> it's the big one, Harry. No, no, not the big I'll one! I'll have to notify the health authorities. In addition, Peter Jackson does direct the puppetry with a very filmic eye. He knows where to block the puppets, he's aware of the puppets' limitations, and he shoots the puppetry with plenty of cinematic flair. If anything, this movie serves as solid evidence that Jackson was going to grow into a talented and sophisticated director. As I stared down the muzzle of that gun, I thought of Chuck, an eight ball, and the thousands of others who had perished in that godforsaken wilderness. I was not afraid to join them. Before I make my final verdict, I think it's important for me to find out what an actual puppet thinks of Meet the Feebles. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Henson the Monkey. Hello! Yes, Henson's going to be tied down and forced to watch Meet the Feebles. I think I'm gonna be sick. Somebody get me a bucket! There, there. It's all right. I know, I know. Okay, now you're just being really melodramatic. Look, you got through a Serbian film. If you can get through that, you can get through this. To conclude, Meet the Feebles has gained a cult following for being so gleefully sick and twisted. But personally, I found it more melancholic than fun. However, Heidi makes for an entertaining, subversive twist on Miss Piggy, the songs are quite catchy, and it is interesting seeing Peter Jackson in his early filmmaking days. So a part of me kind of likes it. I've been Jabberik, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Feel free to support me on Patreon. In the next episode of Puppet Panic, I'm going to review Scooby-Doo Adventures, the mystery map. It's the Halloween special of Puppet Panic. Cheerio, folks.